Hi, welcome to the 2017 Kawi Awards. In case you don't know what Kawi means, because you've been in jail, it means coffee and whiskey with Ivy. And obviously, I am Ivy. 2017 has been a year of very good and very bad. And this year, I'm going to point out the very good people and the very bad people. We have three groups, individual, organization, and special mention awards. And in each of the groups, we have three categories. The Donkey Award. In the individual group, the award is given to the most donkey person alive. Actually, calling them a donkey is an insult to the donkey. If I had a gun, I will shoot them. But as I'm the warrior, and we do not believe in using guns, I will take my knife and I will shave them. The nominees. The couple at the hawker centre who bullied an elderly man. The weird gay uncle at the MRT who sexually harassed an Ang Mo. The Ang Mo who physically abused our taxi driver. The couple who tortured the intellectually disabled waitress. And the evil winners go to that couple who tortured that poor little girl to death. You know, that's a total evil act on those people's part. And I hope Singaporeans will take that as a lesson that this should never happen again in our country. We must have a good country with good people. You know, you swine, death is too good for you. You should come to my farm and let me torture you. The Greatest Comeback Award The next individual award goes to the Greatest Comeback Award. You know, people fail when they do things, but when they make an effort to come back, I think we should give them an award for doing it. The nominees The Nasi Lemak Burger Gong Ta Amos E. Why it's even more appalling that this kind of reaction is done to me. SMRT Chairman Xia Munming, who resigned from Tamasic in order to focus more on improving our rail system. Due to whatever reason, you take less responsibility. And the winner is the chairman of SMRT. He deserves this because he actually took the stand to come back and make it good. And I'm so happy he did not take my advice to commit harakiri. Well done to you guys. Never give up, come back and win again. Not All Heroes Wear Capes Award. The last award in the individual section is the Not All Heroes Wear Capes Award. And these are people who actually go out of their way to make things better, either for themselves, but more importantly, for other people. The nominees. Juliana's unconditional love for her autistic son, Aiden. Son taught us um, how to love, lah. how to love and be kind. Para-athlete Jason Chi, who lost his limbs, but still found a way to win Singapore Gold. Win, lose, is never mind to me. Most importantly is, I did well for my country. SBS's downtown line that showed there is still hope for public transport. The primary school boy who gave the middle finger on live TV during our NDP. And the winner is Jason Chi. Jason, I salute you. You are a great guy and you're doing a great job. And giving people that spirit that you have that we should all aim to have to overcome our challenges in life. Great people, keep up the work you do. One day, people will recognize you more and more and we should not have to have you suffer anymore. Biggest Breakdown Award. Now we will move to the organization group. And 
the first award goes to the biggest breakdown award. And 2017 has been a year of breakdowns and breakdowns and breakdowns and I'm sure you will know who is going to be the winner. The nominees. Singtel for the network outage in August that left the customers in the lurch. The lady of the hawker couple who broke down during her public apology to the old man they bullied. Just want to say that I'm really sorry to Uncle. Happy TV's constantly breaking down printer. Who else but SMRT? Yes, you are right. It's the four letter word called SMRT. Lucky the year is ending and uh, I hope in the next two weeks we won't have any more serious breakdowns but SMRT, take it as a lesson, move forward and do better. What? Another breakdown? But let's not do it anymore next year. Best Drama Award In the next organisation award is the Best Drama Award. Besides breakdowns, we also had a lot of drama in 2017. So, let's see who the nominees are. The nominees. A long-running melodrama with more dramatic twists at every turn than a Mediacorp drama. The FAS Saga. A blockbuster waiting to be made into a movie, it is the Lee family's Oxley Road drama. From criteria changes for potential candidates to not even having an election because there were no candidates left, this is our reserve presidency. And the last nominee that has produced drama entertainment throughout the year, Mediacorp's Tang Lin. And the winner is the group responsible for the reserved presidency. You know, it, they made it so complicated, so much drama, that actually the poor person was our wonderful Madam Halima, the president. But don't worry, president, I'm happy you are there. You are the president, and only those fools who did all that drama should be given this award, not you. Thank you for keeping us entertained. Try not to do it again, but if you do, make it an even bigger drama. Big Heart Award. I'm very proud of the next award, which is the Big Heart Award. And this is given to organizations which have gone out of their way to do something for other people instead of looking at their bottom line. The nominees. Glen Eagles Hospital for covering the $78,000 medical bill of their security guard who collapsed while on duty. Kaplan, after hearing Mr. John Shu's kind act of funding a single mother's diploma due to her financial difficulties, they sponsored his daughter's tertiary education. Kaplan, after hearing Mr. John Shu's kind act of funding a single mother's diploma due to her financial difficulties, they sponsored his daughter's tertiary education. The soup kitchen for delivering 3,000 meals a day to the less fortunate. All the nominees in this category are actually winners. But the special winner is the Soup Kitchen. They have been doing wonderful work feeding people for years and years. But wait, we have a special junior award. And this goes to the Jamin Primary School. These school kids grow vegetables in their spare time to give to the needy kids in their school. Three cheers to you young people who are doing the good work which is being taught to you by your good teachers. Keep up the good work. You guys, I am your biggest fan. We should all emulate what you all do for other people. Most inspirational quote. Okay, now we are moving into the final category, the Special Mentions Award. And I like this one. The first one is the Most Inspirational Quote Award. And some of them have made such wonderful quotes, I'm sure some of them are unforgettable. See who they are. The nominees. 
Josephine Teo for informing Singaporeans that we don't need much space to have sex. Amos Yee for saying he can now criticise the Singapore government without going to jail simply because he fled the country. Mr Lo Tia Kiang when he raised the matter of double standards when Mr Go Chok Tong sued his party colleague Tang Liang Hong. Here is his gem of a quote. One sibling cannot sue. After all, we are all brother and sisters. Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong for his response to Mr Lo's gems. And as for Tang Liang Hong, he's not my brother. And the winners are Mr. Lo Tia Kiang and Mr. Go Chok Tong. Yes, it's a joint award like brotherly love, one enhances the other. Thank you boys for your great gems in a parliamentary debate. I look forward to those quotes. Don't feel bad, it is so entertaining. The Big Deal Award the second award in this category is the Big Deal Award. You know how in Singapore we love to have so big deal. We are the biggest, we are the bestest, we have the fastest, etc, etc. And we are the smartest nation, right? So, the Big Deal Award goes to these people. The nominees. The impending tax increase. In 2018, taxes could be raised from 7 to 9%, and this is a big deal for all Singaporeans. The increase in causeway congestion. After decades, more and more time is spent stuck in traffic jams. When will this ever be fixed? The 2017 SEA Games. It was the year Singapore saw the highest medal tally ever of 57 gold. The increase in diabetic cases in Singapore. This must be a big deal if it's serious enough to be a key address by Prime Minister Lee as part of his National Day Rally. 3 in 10 Singaporeans have diabetes. To the Singapore Sports Council. But their big deal is a good deal. They won the most awards in the Southeast Asian Games for the first time in the history of Southeast Asian Games. Well done Singaporeans. Majula Singapore. Zero to Hero Award We finish with the Zero to Hero Award. You know, people do make mistakes and we do forgive them by the end of December so that they will not make all those mistakes again. The nominees are... The nominees End Parks. They eliminated the number of falling trees by threefold in the last 15 years. The Singapore Cyber Sports and Online Gaming Association. From a frowned upon pastime, we now are world champions in esports. PUB and SMRT's flood alleviation system. Recently, the $5 billion rail network became prone to flooding, but the system has helped solve this problem. Downtown Line, at a time when the public were calling for SMRT's blood, SBS introduced the Downtown Line and it has been a huge success since then. And the winner is Downtown Line. Thank you, SBS, not SMRT, for the Downtown Line. We hope you keep the good work up. And may all of you have a great 2018, a safe 2018, and a happy 2018 with your family, your loved ones, and the people of Singapore. Now, for a stronger pick-me-up. Cheers. I'm sure many of you will be wondering what my plans are for 2018. I know. Evil men and stupid women, I'm after your asses. I want to replace you with good men and smart women so that the world will be the paradise it should be. Peace to you.